Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and this is a review of the Excel dashboard course from my online training hub. I have personally taken this course and I think it's awesome. So I decided to create this video to share with you what it's all about and explain what you can expect to learn from it. First I will give you a quick overview of the course, then we will look at the members area and see exactly what you get once you sign up. I will also explain why this is much more than a dashboard course as you'll learn all the Excel reporting and charting skills needed to create dashboards. And finally, I will explain how this course helped me, and hopefully how it will help you as well. So what is the dashboard course? This course is a self-paced online video course. And what this means is that you can watch the videos online or download them to your computer. I love this style of learning because you can watch the videos at your own pace in the comfort of your own home or office. The course is taught by Minda Tracy. Minda has almost 20 years of experience working with Excel. She is a fantastic teacher and she does a great job of getting right to the point without wasting your time. The course includes over 8 hours of short, fast-paced videos and I will talk more about those when we dive into the members area. It also covers beginner to advanced topics, so if the idea of creating an entire dashboard overwhelms you, this course will help teach you the skills you need to create dashboards and also help you communicate with your data. You can also download the Excel files that Minda uses during the course, which makes it easy to follow along and apply what you've learned. So let's take a look at the members area. So here we are in the members area of the course, and you'll see here that you are about to become an Excel superhero. <laughs> and I completely agree with that. I think this is a great course. So first of all you start out by looking at the course syllabus uh, here in the members area and as you scroll down you'll see that you, the course totals over eight hours of video and there's an additional three and a half hours of related training and this is great. I'll talk more about this as well but this will really give you a uh, foundation or uh, some basics if you don't fully understand some of the charting techniques or the interactive controls that Minda is talking about. So in the course syllabus she starts out with an introduction and how to get your data ready for the charts and the dashboards that you're going to create. And then she talks about some design principles and this is really important because she discusses how to communicate your data effectively and lay it out in a dashboard or a chart so that it's uh, clear, simple, and easy for the reader to understand. So I really appreciate that she goes into this more theory side of um, creating charts and dashboards. And then she starts discussing some of the display principles, which is actually the different types of charts that you can use to communicate your objective. Uh, so depending on what type of data you're displaying and what you want to show, there's tons of different types of charts that you can use and uh, she goes into detail on all of those. So uh, after that she talks about the interactive controls, adding buttons um, and check boxes and all these different types, types of controls uh, to your charts to make them interactive and uh, then she talks about analyzing your data with pivot charts and slicers. These are some more advanced techniques including automating your dashboards and then putting it all together, bringing all this charting that you've learned, bringing it all into a dashboard um, in, in one place and, and making it easy to read and understand. And then there's some bonus material and some homework and those kinds of things as well. So I want to go back, I'm going to scroll back up the page here and I'm just going to jump into this uh, session four display principles so you can see exactly what you get. So as I stated earlier, most of these uh, videos that you can watch are very short in length and I really enjoy that feature of this course. That's probably one of the my favorite parts of this course is that you get these really short videos and and they're organized by category. So if you just want to go and maybe watch a course about frequency distribution charts you can just jump right into that and you only have to spend five minutes of your time learning about that. You don't have to um, watch an hour-long video and you might end up forgetting half the stuff you learned because it, when you're learning all these new things your mind starts wandering and racing and thinking about ways you can apply those to your own real-world situations. So I really enjoy that aspect of this course that these are just short videos. You can jump right into them 
get that information and, and apply it immediately to your work. So if I click on that watch tutorial button, it'll automatically jump into the course and you can start watching the video, which is nice. So this is becomes kind of a, a dashboard of its own to just jump into these tutorials and watch the videos. Uh, down towards the bottom, you'll see these related lessons. Uh, and these are the basic Excel courses that you get along with um, the dashboard course. So I'm going to quickly go back to the syllabus and show you exactly what you get with this related Excel training. So again, here you'll see you get three and a half hours of related Excel training. And I think this is a really big benefit of the course. Um, and you can see as I scroll down here below session four, there are some of these related videos that we were just looking at in session four. And I'm going to scroll down to session six. And here I'll click into session six. I think these are awesome videos. Uh, in session six, you get all this additional related training on basic Excel um, functions, including tables. I'm a really big fan of using tables, so you definitely want to check that one out. And then lookup functions. I think everyone wants to look, learn more about VLOOKUPs and index match and some of these other lookup functions and um, if statements as well. So you get all this additional training and even pivot tables, which is fantastic to learn about pivot tables. So all this additional training comes with the course and it'll really help you build your Excel skills and allow you to use these techniques in other parts of your work as well, not just building dashboards, but these are some techniques you can use every day at your job. So I think this is a great benefit of the course. And if I had one complaint about the course, I, it would be to change the name because um, I think this is so much more than just a dashboard course. You get so much more out of it and it really will become help you become that Excel superhero in your workplace. So below that related training in each session is uh, these course downloads. And these are the downloads that um, or the Excel files that Mindy uses during the videos. And you can download these and open them up and uh, follow along. So I want to quickly show you what you get in these Excel files because I think they're another huge benefit of this course. So this is the, uh, the file for just for session four. And you can see that it has a list of all the topics here uh, within session four. And uh, then you can quickly just click these buttons to jump to the lesson. And those lessons are included in the worksheets within this workbook. Uh, you can also check this box here to um, let you know that you've watched that particular video and take some notes on it. So if I just click on this one here, it'll take me to the, fir or the second chart in the, in the workbook. I'm sorry, the second worksheet in the workbook. And as you can see here, there's, um, it's talking about a line chart, and that's what this specific t lesson goes over is these line charts. And as I scroll down, you can see that there's a ton of information and different types of charts here. And over to the right, um, Minda has some notes as well on exactly what's going on with these charts and, and what you should be learning from it. So there's, again, there's a lot of information within these workbooks, and this makes it really easy for you to apply these techniques to your own real world um, situations and projects. I mean, a lot of times you could probably even just copy and paste some of this stuff into your own workbooks and of course change the data sources and that type of stuff. But uh, really it gives you right off the bat, it gives you a lot to work with. So you don't feel like you're always starting from scratch. Uh, and again, this is just um, the workbook for session four. So each of the sessions, and I believe there's over 10 sessions, contains a workbook like this that you can follow along with and learn from. So it's a, it's a really huge benefit of the course and I wanted to show it to you and share it with you. The other nice part about this is uh, Minda provides support for the course. So if you have questions, you can see there's a lot of comments here. You can leave a comment and you can see that Minda gets back to you right away with any of your questions to answer any of your questions and help you out along the way. So you don't feel stuck. Uh, if you do have a question, there's definitely support there in a community as well to, to help you answer your questions and get you involved in the learning process. So the link below the video takes you to this page and this will tell you a lot more about the dashboard course 
um, as you go through it, you can see there's an, a, another video overview of the course that Minda provides, and she gives you a lot of detail what the course is all about and what to expect, and uh, so a lot of testimonials from those people that have taken the course, people like me that really enjoyed it and felt like they got a great uh, value out of it. And at the bottom of the page, I'm going to scroll down quickly to the bottom of the page, uh, is the registration uh, area where you can choose your membership. Um, I personally uh, bought the membership that allows you to download the dashboards, or the videos, allows you to download the videos. And uh, I did this because I, I like, since these videos are so short in length, uh, I really like to be able to go back and watch them as I'm working on a project and I might need a little refresher on a specific technique or something like that. So to me it's it's a tremendous value to be able to just go back and watch this five minute or ten minute video, kind of get a refresher and then apply that to exactly what I'm working on at work. So that's just me personally but I think it was for me a, it's a really helpful and I continue to go back and watch these videos as needed. So that's a review of the dashboard course from my online training hub. Um, you can contact me directly at john at excelcampus.com if you have any questions about it. And I just wanted to let you know that I have become an affiliate with my online training hub, which means I make a small commission if you click on the link below the video and purchase the course. Uh, but I've, again, I found a, that I got a tremendous value out of this course, and hopefully you will do the same. So uh, again, please let me know if you have any questions or you can leave a comment below the video. Thanks again for watching.